Ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between and beyond, welcome to Dr. Fix Me Live! Oh, coming to you live from the Clark Apartments. Give it up for the Clark Apartments. <laughs> oh, and for, for our producers, Steve and Tommy. Thank you very much, Steve and Tommy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between and beyond. I am your host, I'm Dr. Elias Fix Me at your service, and this show is all about helping people. All I'm trying to do is help this world out one person, one issue at a time, which is why I have a doctorate in radio and television broadcasting with a specialization in tabloid talk shows. Now, you may wonder, why would anyone study tabloid talk shows? Well, that's because my heroes are the likes of Jerry Springer, Maury Povich, Sally Jesse Raphael, Ricky Lake, uh, Jenny Jones, uh, Montel Williams, Doc Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, even Oprah, because they spent their careers helping people. Each new show, uh, each new episode of their show, they would transform the lives of someone new. And I thought to myself, well, hey, why can't I do that? So that's why I've got this show here and the power of my producers who bring me uh, people all over the world. Uh, from all over the world to learn who they are, what ails them, and how I may be able to help them. Now, just so that everyone here in the audience understands, I have no idea who is coming to my show. I have no idea how it will go. Fixing them isn't a guarantee tonight, but gosh darn it, I'm going to do my best. Now, just like the, my, uh, my hero, uh, Jerry Springer, if, if, if there's a moment in the show where so any one of my guests says something that you agree with, that, that, uh, that feels true in your heart as well, feel free to cheer. Chant their name if you want. Let your truth be heard. This is a safe space for truth. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And conversely, if someone says something that you disagree with, something that you think is hateful, Feel free to boo. Cheers and jeers. J Dr. Fix Me welcomes them both. So with that said, I want to welcome, I have no idea who's coming to the stage. I, I just, uh, I, I have here a card that my producers have given me with uh, the name of my guest and why they're on this show. So I've got here a card here. Is this, uh, oh my goodness. Oh, okay, this is a, a, a name I've never seen before and I hope I'm pronouncing it accurately. Looks like we have S Scrumble Shanks Glitterbutt. The Christmas Elf, here to talk about uni unionizing Santa's workshop. Welcome, Scrumble. Oh, sorry for the, the chord there. Hello, welcome, hello. Welcome, Scrumble Shanks, to Dr. Fix Me. It, it's pronounced Scrimble Shanks. Scrimble Shanks. I, oh, I, I'm so sorry. Hello, everyone. I'm Scrimble Shanks Glitterbutt. Hi, Scrimble Shanks. Please, please have a seat if you like. You know, we, don't, we can get this uh, out of the, the way, I yeah, think. Yeah, I'm, I'm way too short to have that in front of me. I feel like people You are tiny, Scrimble Shanks. <laughs> I'm so Shanks. small. I'm the size of your palm. Oh, my goodness. You are. You are, you are inches tall, Scrimble Shanks. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, Scrimble Shanks, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm curious to know, it says that you are a Christmas elf. Is, is that true? Yes, you I am a Christmas elf, and I'm coming to you on our busy season. So, uh, so you, you're from the North Pole. I am from the North Pole. I wow. live there year round. If you guys think Chicago gets cold, wait until you get to the North Pole. Okay, <laughs> it's very cold up there, and I might get eaten by a bear. <laughs> It says here that you're here to talk about unionizing Santa's workshop? Yeah, well, you know, uh, we're on strike right now. Oh, um, wait, that sounds like a crisis for this Christmas season, a strike? What, well, now, what, 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 um, well, first off, I, I want to know why are you striking, and two, what does a, a strike look like when, when, when Christmas elves strike? Well, uh, we're striking right now for better working conditions in Santa's workshop. We figure if Starbucks can do it, so can Santa's elves, you know? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we want to become a union shop. You know, it's very dangerous building the toys. We have 1.9 billion children to take care of a year, and, uh, and there's only seven of us. Uh, wait, only seven elves? There's only seven elves. Oh my goodness! That's that. I th but every time I've seen uh, movies about uh, the, about Santa's workshop, it's always like an army of elves. There's just they're 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 lined with the walls with elves. Like every Christmas movie just has so many elves. I didn't realize they were in the the single digits. Why so few? Well, you know, a lot of us has, have moved on to a, a different careers. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. We used to have a lot more. People elves. have left the workshop. People for have better? left. The, yeah, people have left. The people are going to college now. You know, oh. <laughs> people are leaving. It's not 
not, you know, it's not like it used to be, you know. People uh, people want to be paid to work, you know, and not not just in cookies and love. Now, now I know that with, with the seven remaining, I mean, have you not felt, have you felt the, the, the urge to leave? Have you, uh, what, what keeps you sti- uh, sticking around? Yeah, I mean, I felt the urge to leave, but I'm 467 years old. Oh, my and goodness. I just, I just don't think I can start my life over again. 467? You don't look, a, you look like a child. You look like, uh, like, a, like a seven inch tall child. Yes, we we remain very young. We have a long lifespan, you know. I'm really, I'm really, a, I'm not, I'm not middle aged for now. If I would 467 say, 467 years is middle age. Yeah, oh you goodness. know, my my grandmother lived to the ripe old age of 1,092. So. Oh wow. Oh okay. 1,092. So you're you're less than halfway your to your grandma's age. I'm less than halfway to my oh grandma's my age, which now, is how which is how that works, I think. So you uh, tell me about the the work conditions in Santa's workshop. What makes it so like a place that's so bad that you need to strike? I don't understand. It, whenever I think of it, I think of oh everything's cheerful. There's uh, amazing Christmas music. Everyone's happy. What, what's so uh, awful about working there? Well, here's the thing. There's only seven of us again for 100 and not, one hundred one 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 point nine billion children. You know, and mm. uh, and 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 people uh, they don't want uh, wooden toys anymore. We used to, we used to whittle, you know. We used to like make things out of wood, um, things you could put in your mouth, you know. And now, and now everything's got to have a gadget or a gizmo. Everything's got to have wheels and tiny little. Ti- I've got to solder, you know what I mean? Like I've with my tiny fingers, I have to solder things together. It's it's dangerous. I've you know we've uh, we was, I I know one of the other elves lost a hand recently uh, making an iPhone. So. Oh my goodness. So, uh, what I, I guess, uh, f- what have you endured personally? What have you, have you what have you suffered uh, at the hands of, of be- working in this workshop? You know. It's well, I have, I have no. There's no overtime. You know, there's no overtime at all. I, I have to work 24 hours a day, and I have to, I have to expend my precious magic to extend the hours of the day that I can work. You know what I mean? And because you know, that's a lot of, that's a lot of presents to make, and so you know, like I just don't, I have no time to to pursue any hobbies. You know what I mean? I, I I would like to read. I would like to like go to a beach somewhere. I would like to you know bake something. You know, I watch TV. I don't I don't know. I would like to do something other than make toys constantly. You mentioned uh, did I c- catch that correctly? Did you say that you have um, magic? Did you uh, so say something about a uh, magic of extending the day? Is that were yes. you being metaphorical? Or do you actually possess magic? Oh no, we possess magic. Uh, okay, yeah. and, what, and what form does that take? What kind of magic do you? Uh, d- I mean, when I think it's of magic, it's mostly space-time continuum related. You know, we uh, we have a, we we have what we like to call wormhole magic. You know, wormhole magic. Yes. Uh, how do you think Santa can get around the world and deliver all those presents in one night? You that know, explains we ex- so we much. We extend the days, and so we make. Y- it's your magic that allows Santa to deliver all the presents in exactly, one night. Exactly. It's our magic that allows Santa to do that. But do we get right, rightly compensated? No. Okay. All right. So I understand what your problem is. Uh, tell me about the compensation. What's a What's a solution look like to you? What would be enough to get you back uh, working uh, and beyond, uh, to you know break that strike? Well, I would like to be making six figures. Wow. I would I would like paid overtime, you know, vacation hours, you know. I'd like to I'd like to hire I'd like to be, have a competitive salary so that we can hire elves from around the world, you know. Like I would I would like to be able to hire people with a bit, with higher skill levels. There are other elves throughout the world. I thought they only lived at the North Pole, but no, then again, they, I, I, they they've left. You know what I mean? There's colonies oh, all true. over the world now. Elf you know? colonies. There's elf colonies every. Wow. How do you think Amazon does it? Oh, I see. You know that that makes a lot of sense. All right, so it, 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 I guess, wow, it, it, it seems like you've, you've got a serious beef with the, with the big guy uh, who's running everything. Uh, uh, have, uh, have you brought your demands up to, up to Santa? We have many times. Okay, and how, what has that resulted in? How's that exchange gone? He for says, you? Do you want to hear 1.9 billion children cry? Oh. He uses the guilt of sad children uh, uh, to uh, to motivate you to work. Yeah, he said the, the child suicide rate is our fault. Oh wow, that is unsanta like that. I've never heard. This is not a clause that I'm familiar with. Oh my goodness. He's he's meaner than you. Don't meet your heroes. <laughs> <laughs>
That's what I will tell you. Don't meet your heroes. If you love Santa, don't try to meet him. Don't wait well, up. I'm, I'm afraid that, that we may have uh, uh, someone who, who can uh, uh, come up, uh, uh, I guess, uh, look, every story has um, multiple sides to it. And I understand that you have a very serious side. And, and, and first off, I'm delighted to meet you, uh, uh, Scrimbleshanks. Uh, uh, do you have a, do you go by nicknames or should I, the whole? You can call me Scrim Scram. Scrim Scram? Oh, thank you, Scrim Scram. So Scrim Scram glitter, but uh, I guess... Uh, how can Dr. Fix Me help you? Uh, well, I'm just trying to get our message out here, and, uh, and, and hopefully, you know, Santa hears it and, um, and realizes that our strike is serious, and, and maybe you can connect us with some people who, who know how to, how to do all the legal mumbo-jumbo, you know? It sounds like you need me to mediate on your behalf. Yes. Oh, I see. It's like, it's like your words are falling on deaf ears regarding Santa. Absolutely. All right, well, I, I want to do the best that I can. Uh, my, my producers are an amazing group of people who can connect me with people all over the world. I think we may have someone who can help you with this. This situation this I can't make I can't make it do we do we have do we have my I'm sorry who, who do we have in the audience someone's protesting I'm sorry please can I can I can I see your can I see this card please and and, and who do we have here we have uh, looks like we have oh Santa Claus jr. CEO welcome Santa Claus jr. to dr. fix me hey you're not clapping Wow, Santa Claus Jr. He's, 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 he's hurting demanding his that the audience applaud him. Uh, Santa Claus Jr., for, welcome to Doctor Fix Me. First uh, this, off, this, this, my microphone's not coming out, and I want it to obey me. So, uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, it's not I, working. I, oh, I, I got it. You got it. Okay. It worked uh, out for me in the end. I, I'm surprised to meet you. Not only I, I've never. Uh, uh, yeah, you're surprised. I'm probably happy. San I didn't know there was a Santa Claus Jr. Santa Claus has kids. No, I, I went abroad. I was border. Uh, I was at a, a boarding school for most of my life. You were sent away to a boarding school? Oh, I wasn't sent away. I got the privilege well, of. I'm he's, talking. It's a piece of work. <laughs> I am talking. You is. see these elves just talk over everyone? Wow. I see what you're saying here, Scrim Scram. Okay, so, so, so Santa Claus Jr., um, are you aware of the, the uh, horrific working conditions at the workshop? Uh, am I aware of it? Yes. It doesn't, no one's aware of it. When's the last time you saw horrific conditions of Santa? Have you, when's the last time you saw a Christmas movie and it was terrible? Anybody? No, the whole well, crowd agrees well, with me. That is blatant propaganda. Uh, propaganda? Christmas I don't even know what that propaganda. is. Propaganda. Well, uh, yeah, I, 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 I have to uh, uh, lean to uh, agree with uh, this Scrim Scram here. Shit. Well, do you know Scrim Scram, Santa Claus Jr.? I don't think so. Okay, do you, I, I noticed that for the listener at home, uh, 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 Santa Claus Jr. is refusing to look Scrim Scram in the eyes. I can't because I can't see them. What do you mean? Oh, just be. Oh, they're just lower because, than me just physically. Because, please, just because scream, scream is socially like and tall. physically, they're lower than me. Oh boy. Just because I'm very small doesn't mean you can't afford me. Eye That's contact. what it means. That's what it means. <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen, I, okay, listen, okay. My well, dad's well, freaking Santa Claus. Okay, there's yeah. countless. Mo don't eyeball me. See, now you they can see my eyes now. Listen, now. She's now eyeballing me. Now you see scream, scream. Well, when they eyeball you, it's kind of hard to miss it. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Yes. When they just stare at you. They're always like, oh, I'm hungry. We need a break. It's been days. It's annoying. <laughs> well, there's a strike going on right now. How has that affected the, the, the work uh, shop at this point? I mean, it, it, Me? Uh, not at all. No? It hasn't affected you? No. If Christmas were to, to not happen, if, 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 if 1.9 billion children start crying because they don't get presents, wh what effect would that have on you? I personally would not care, but those kids are getting their presents, okay? The Claus name has always delivered on their prom promise, we just outsource it now. Okay. Amazon gets it right there, and we wait, don't need their bullshit it magic to anymore. So you, yeah. so, wait, you've used Amazon as, as a type of scab? Yeah, it's like a new elf magic that we use. Well, listen, when my grandfather, okay, oppressed her, her people yes. and took their magic, that was the only way to do it. You gotta, everyone's got to understand, okay? But nowadays, we don't need it anymore. That's why we downsized the seven of those little guys. You downsized? I thought they left of their own free will. <laughs> so, some of them left Some of them left of their own free will. Some of them were fired. Free will is what I call my boot. I kicked them out in. Oh, my goodness. The name of the boot. I see, uh, for the listener at home, engraved on uh, Santa Claus Jr.'s boot is, uh, it does say free will, yeah. stylized on the... In That's Boston unicorn leather. blood, too. It's expensive. Unicorn blood? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I got it from the Tooth Fairies kid. Oh. Real, real shit person. Wow, Santa yeah. Claus Jr. I am I am shocked and and appalled to to meet you personally. I mean, yeah. uh, you you are you are uh, you're a scoundrel. You're welcome. What? What do you mean I'm welcome? A scoundrel? Yes, you're a scoundrel. You have you are uh, uh, profiting off the cruelty of of of, of little people. That's what? called an entrepreneur capitalist. 
But you're not. Well, the, you just describes the American blueprint. I okay. I all right. I, I, and so, uh, are you not bothered at all by this strike? Does this mean no, nothing? No, no. I am the CEO of Santa Claus Injury. Okay, so uh, Chief Elf Oppressor. Oh, that's give what a CEO shit stands for. About I thought these it was people. Chief Executive Officer. You thought wrong because you're dumb. No, oh my I, goodness. I mean, I mean, this it, it makes no money. You know, Chief it, Elf Oppressor. A, hey, can it, I get it's two? It's about oppressing elves. Uh, for the listeners at home, two? Santa Claus oh, Jr. is or, he's requesting okay. drinks from the bar. I don't. I, it's not that kind of. Whenever I see a person, I assume they're a waiter. Just because he's wearing a, a, a Christmas sweater doesn't mean he works for you. Excuse me, yeah, sir. Not too? everyone who wears a Christmas sweater is an elf. Do you see this? Do you see? Do you see this? Do you see you? I, well, when I look in I, a mirror, yes. I, I think. But do you, you see yourself? No, never. All right. My meanie. goodness. I, I don't mean, have any mean, mirrors. I only put my mean, own idea of myself in my head. He is a mean, mean. Scream, scream. I, I'm t- I completely agree with you here. This is you have a, this is a what? mean person. Now, now, uh, uh, I bring cheer to a lot of children. You, I, what have you done? Under, I bring cheer. Under how do you bring cheer? My people. Oh, how else no, do you bring cheer? Walk me through this, Santa Claus Jr. How do you bring cheer to children? Everyone knows of Santa Claus, but no one has heard of Santa Claus Jr. Okay, everyone knows of Oprah. Do you know the director? <laughs> the director? The of director of the show. Been no. with her the whole time. No. You don't know the name? No. He literally got the image of Oprah and the message out to the millions. You don't know the name? No. Do you? That's my point, though. Oh. Uh, do I know? I yeah, I know who so, it is. So you're behind the scenes. I went to boarding school with him. Oh, His name's oh. Ren Glickman. <laughs> you went to boarding school with the director of Oprah, Ren yeah, Glickman? Yeah, I'm older than... The clauses age differently. Oh. And yeah, they also stole our magic to not age. We didn't you know? steal it. We took it after war. <laughs> Taking people. things after war is akin to stealing. Oh, it's, yeah? It's, What's a museum? Oh, I, I, I mean, I, we're not going to get into that, yeah, but, yeah. I, the, but the, but the British the Museum here? should we give a lot of its artifacts back to the people that they stole them from. Oh, my God. Look, I... Scream, scream, you've got the floor here. Why don't you make your demands known to Santa Claus Jr.? He I can't mean, help the feet you. aren't You're touching the floor, but you. My, my, my demands, my demands would be, first of all, I would like the, uh, the workshop to be, to, be, uh, to be built in accordance with the height of my people. No. Uh, everything is huge. Yeah, we, we deliberately uh, built it bigger. It took more money to do it. Wait, you, More you, resources. You've designed Santa Claus's workshop as a way to torture they your employees? They have to jump to their tables. Why do we you did? even have them in the first place? It's unnecessary. You are so cruel. What? I got straight AIDS and cruelty at boarding school. <laughs> so don't be surprised when I say that you're cruel. You say, you you're saying it as if it's bad. I don't understand. It is horrible. Are there any other wealthy or mythical people from heritage? N- uh, no, I, no? I, I don't. Nobody I don't think else do, from no, uh, have Scrims Ham. You well know, known I, throughout history my, have movies. Oh my goodness! No? I, I, if I were to give you advice right now, Scrims Ham, I would say get out. You and gotta w- get out. There's but, no. But where will I go? Yeah, they can't leave. Making, well, making go, what choices what, is the only thing I know. Yeah. What about the elf colonies? Surely uh, there, there might be uh, oh. a colony that could take you in. What, what, Don't mention elf colony. <sighs> why, why can't I mention an elf colony? You know like when your dog goes to the farm? Uh, wait, what? Are, are, you, are you implying that the elf colony is no, a... No, med- they're real. They exist. Oh, no. Scrim, oh, scram. my family is dead. <laughs> scrim, scram. Oh, no. Poor scrim, scram. I had to confront that reality oh, just my goodness. now. I, uh, okay. We found when you only take one from a family... They, they're less likely to love and feel. Oh, oh my goodness. You are a monster, Santa Claus Jr. What are you talking about? SCJ, you are the worst. My, my boarding school was in upstate New York. I had the best education. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I feel like you, you're, you are a sociopath. You, you pride yourself on, how, on, on your villainy. And I, I, I despise yeah. you. I must say, I, I don't support anything that you're doing. Okay. I, I'm outraged by your behavior. And, right. and, I, and I can't help but sympathize I, I, I indefinitely with Scrim Scram here. Okay. Scrim Scram, you, I, I, I fear for your life. I, I sincerely fear for your life. Me and, too. Yeah, me too. And, and I... I I personally, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help you because right now, There's I've never met. I've never met a Santa Claus Jr. before. I never uh, like a, the, a Christmas elf who, who, who's been tortured by Santa Claus Jr. I just don't. I'm out of my element here. I'm out of my yeah. my bailiwick and, and out of my wheelhouse. But I, I don't want you to lose hope. Oh, the wheelhouse. Wait, is, is there a place called the wheelhouse? Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah, that's where she he he crushes my people like into, into Christmas snow. A punishment room? Yeah, it's like a room for punishment. Mm-hmm. All businesses have them. You know no, the break that room? is not true. You know the break room where everything doesn't work quite right? No, that's a punishment room. Oh my goodness! Look, yeah, I, and, the, and the Christmas w- here. Here's the thing: if it's ever snowed on Christmas, that's the blood of my people, no. and uh, Wait, and you need elves to know bleed that. Snow? Did elves? you know that? I didn't know elves bleed snow. I didn't know that either. Every time it snows, I, I thought that was simply precipitation. No, 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 not every time it snows on Christmas specifically. If it snows on Christmas Day, a white Christmas is is the blood of your people. Yeah, yeah. think about yeah. that when the song plays on the radio. Oh my God! That's why everyone goes out and you stick your tongue out when it's snowing. You go, 
Quote. And it's oh a my little God. salty. Bing Crosby got it wrong. Oh. I don't know who that is. Uh, never mind. He, he is an old timey crooner who. I don't watch old timey things because I'm about the future. You are. Or what's the feel? Tell me about that. What's the future of? Is it your? The future is about six elves at the workshop. That's what the future. Oh is. boy. But you don't even need the six elves. Why have elves in the first place? Why? We don't need it. That's my point. Oh my goodness. So tell me about the future. What do you? Are, are, is it fully outsourced to Amazon? What's the future looking like? Oh, for we you? haven't been using the toys the elves make for decades. Since the se- 74. So why do they make them? We burn them. What? So a- everything, so from start to finish. Purely serves? torture at this point. Not oh, even my profit. goodness. Yeah. Oh, scrim scram. Merry uh, Christmas, everyone. I-, I wish that I could hug you, but I fear that my strength would crush you. I'm so sorry, scrim scram. You can't I crush me. I would turn into snow. Oh, no. Scrim scram. But I-, I don't want you to lose hope because uh, a listening to uh, backstage who's been listening to us talk this entire time is someone who can offer advice, someone who's an expert in a particular field who can help you out better than what I can. Uh, so uh, if I can get a, a round of applause from the audience, please welcome our, our expert of the evening. Welcome our, our expert. Where am I? Where am I? I'm drink? so sorry. I thought we had an expert, but I'm so sorry. We, our, our episodes are never possible on, uh, without a paid sponsor. So uh, let's take a moment here to pause and reflect on what we said, so we can hear a live read well, of one of our local sponsors. Uh, please welcome sponsor Dale Lawrence with Dale's Hog. Thank you, Doctor Fix Me. I, I am an expert, an expert at making hard eggnog. I'm here to promote Woo. Dale's Hog. Ride the hog. Yeah. So hog is that, is that like a, 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 a when you combine two words together hard it's eggnog condensing hard and eggnog figured out doctor okay, all right all right so D- Dale's hog is hard <laughs> eggnog all right ride the hog I mean <laughs> uh, uh, well please uh, take this moment to to pitch uh, the Dale's hog Emily so I put a lot of love and joy into every barrel of hog it is a combination a, a rich blend of absinthe tequila bourbon. And just a dash of paprika because we ran out of nutmeg oh. uh, last week. Yes. That's pretty much it. Now, we age it 10 years okay. at the farm. I think you know what animal we have at the farm. Chickens? Turkeys. <laughs> Wait, turkey eggs? <laughs> we brew it at my, my, my Uncle Danny's turkey farm, yes. Oh, okay. We so age it 10 years, and we, we put it in the keg, and we serve it with love. So your hard eggnog is made from... Uh, the eggs of turkeys? Is that what you're saying? Am I getting no, it's right? got nothing to do with the turkeys. That's just we happen to do it on the farm. Oh. That's, <laughs> space is hard to find for, for distilling. Okay, all right. And, and uh, what makes the, the eggnog hard? What part of that is the... the, the it's egg- literally the hard. You have to chew it to get it down. Oh! It's like, but it's, it's, like 200 proof. it's 200 proof. So like by the oh. fifth chew, you don't even feel it. 200 like, proof? Yeah, I can it's like your jaws just relax. And scream, they scream, you've had out. Dale's hog? That's the only thing they allow us to eat in the workshop. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I drink it Dale's too. I, I, it's I, got at least four nutrients. Four nutrients? So, uh, uh, now... Not I, in every barrel. It, it varies from barrel to barrel. So when you say hard eggnog, you literally mean it's hard. You have to chew through it. But I'm asking, what it, what makes it... Uh, uh, it sounds like it's alcoholic. You, you said 200 Oh, yeah, proof. 200 proof. What part of that is the alcohol? What kind of alcohol do you use? Like describe I the alcohol. I just told you it's got tequila, bourbon, oh. absinthe. Tequila, and bourbon, and absinthe? Yes. Oh, my it's goodness. It's a blend. You don't listen. It's a I, rich blend. I, I, it's a, For a doctor, like, did you graduate? I did. You, you're throwing a lot at me. I have a doctorate in radio and television broadcasting oh, with a specialization a in tabloid talk shows. But you, you're, it's just, you say that's a thing, then. Okay. You, you've thrown a lot at me here, and it's just hard to unpack. You've got a lot to, to disseminate here. So uh, Dale's Hog, this is – okay, so and, and how much um, – now, I understand when people buy purchase alcohol, they, you, you can get either a little shot uh, like, a, like you would get in a hotel, or it could be a fifth or, or a handle. Uh, what, what kind of sizes well, do you offer? It's a keg, but it comes with a handle. A keg of yeah, hard so you eggnog? Just, you just lift it up like that. But how does it come out if it's physically hard? Well, you got to work at it. You like one keg, you, you're going to be chewing on that all year. It's a good bargain. Oh, my one goodness. One keg holds you for the year. Wow. All right. And, and, and how much would it, it – what other – surely there must be other sizes than a keg. I, I was asking you – excuse you, me. No, you look like I got a staff of millions. It's just me and Uncle Danny, like, kegging this thing. So. It's you and Uncle Danny yeah, making we, kegs we, of hard eggnog? Yeah, we, we can't do enough variety. We can only do one because okay, like, all right. well, we're very limited the, manpower. You only I don't have eight, elves. You uh, – uh, would elves help your situation? Do, do you oh, want, do you I want think they elves? would. would you I can like give you some elves. I'm not opposed to it. I like that. I like. I hear them both. Like I see both sides of this situation right now. You've been listening this entire time. Absolutely. I mistook you for the expert. You're, you're, well, you I'm an expert sponsor. in making hogs. So. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, 
I, I, I want to know more about the, but before we move on to our guests, I, I, I want to give you the proper due of, of uh, learning more because I feel like the more the listener learns about your product, the more inclined they will be to purchase it. So if someone wants to get a keg of hard eggnog, Dale's hog, uh, how much would that be? Oh, it's at least two dollars. Two dollars? Yes, we just For raised a keg? the price. It was a dollar fifty by inflation, so it's two dollars a keg. Now. Two dollars? That's that's actually a, a sorry, really folks. Great it's the best deal. we can do right now. Two dollars? That's that's rather cheap. I mean, a, a beer uh, which would have way less alcohol uh, would be cost much more than two dollars a, a keg. You're you're looking around like fifty. Yeah, to but they got the marketing. The marketing, yeah. you—they got the Clydesdales, we got the turkeys. It's just oh, wait, no is that how you market like, your? We tried to get the turkeys to like go down the country lane, like pulling a sled. We lost so many turkeys that day. Oh my goodness! So I don't want to talk about it. I, I, uh, you, I'm sorry about for the turkeys. Okay, and now if anyone here wants to purchase your wares, if they want to get a, a keg of Dale's hog, uh, how can they reach you? You just gotta come down to the farm. It's in Wilmington. Wilmington. Yep. Yeah, it's at the corner of the, the mailbox that looks like a race car and the pine tree. A mailbox and a pine tree? Yep, that's it. That's Got it. it. Well, 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 we live in a modern age. A lot of people uh, you know, use the internet or the, they, might, uh, they might call you. Is there any other quicker way to, to uh, ma- place an order? Literally not. So they have to show up in person and have the capacity to, to uh, ship a, a keg. For a doctor, you catch on quick. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I, I look. I'm, I'm here. Help me, help you. I'm trying to help uh, you. I'm right, giving you enough, the platform here to, to sell your wares here, Dale. And, and okay, well, f- f- uh, fantastic. Now, I, I guess uh, is there a I don't know, uh, perhaps a, a discount for Doctor Fix Me listeners out there who want to get involved in this? <sighs> Inflation. You know what? A dollar eighty. A dollar eighty. A dollar eighty a keg. Hey. But just for your listeners, and just they gotta be at the farm by like twelve midnight tonight because. <laughs> That's when Uncle Danny's shift ends. Okay, hey, a 10% discount. That's fantastic. Uh, so, uh, uh, Dale, now I'm, I'm, I'm I, oh, goodness gracious. I, I, I'm, uh, you've, you've given me so much here. I don't know uh, uh, basically how to proceed with you. you, you this is a, a and it's, oh, I wanted to ask you, you include so much alcohol, tequila, absinthe. What else was in there? Bourbon. Bourbon. Do you not listen? No, no, I, look. We've said it three times now. And Are what, you making the, any money on this? The, You're selling it for two dollars. Those ingredients that you've listed yeah, are, are like, pricier. If you were to get a bottle of tequila, I'd say at least a dollar covers uh, inventory, and then I pay Uncle Danny at least fifty cents, and then uh, the rest of that is pure profit. Is it? Yes. I feel like I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're in the red, uh, Dale. I'm so oh. sorry. I think you're selling this at a loss. Uh, but you know who am I to judge or to say? I I, mean, I'm, like I'm, if we just had a staff, I think we'd crank it out a lot more. I think it's just a production issue. Uh, you know, and I think that may uh, lead us into our next bit here because I feel like uh, there may be some hope for you, Scrim Scram. Now, and, but uh, I, before I uh, uh, give you hope and launch you over to uh, a potential employer, I got to know what kind of um, what kind of what could you offer? Uh, scrim scram and well, say uh, six or so other elves. It's much better working conditions than what this guy's talking about. So oh, okay. I, I give Uncle Danny 30 minutes for lunch. Okay. I just moved a toaster oven into the, the turkey shack where he takes his break. Um, you know, Christmas, we do take 20 minutes extra off a day. Hey. 20 uh, minutes extra off? Sign me up. <laughs> scrim scram. Oh, how would it feel to work for a, uh, what I, dare I say, a distillery? What would you call it? A brewery? What? We make hog. <laughs> uh, a hoggery? Hoggery, yes. <laughs> That's what did we're I, calling did it. Did I just coin that term? Dale's hog. Uh, would you, uh, you did, how would but you I'm feel stealing about, it. Well, how would you feel about working for a hoggery? I, I would feel a lot better. I would be out from under the oppressive boot of, of Santa Jr. Santa Claus Even Jr. Even 50 cents is more than I'm being paid now. I could get free hog, I'm assuming. All the free hog that you can chew. And, and here's the thing. I'm addicted to hog. I can't. You are? I, you, you are w- uh, well aware of his product? Oh, we. Well, that's the only, the only thing, thing they'll they let eat. us eat in the, in the workshop. That's I, the only I, thing you'll let yeah, them eat? The only thing. We can only eat hog, and now I can't live on anything else. I, I tried to eat a salad once, and I almost died. I ended up in the hospital. You're, you're having a heroin addict work at a heroin factory. <laughs> oh, my that's goodness. Right uh, wow. Who are you helping? I, and tw- I, and 20, I don't know 20 anymore. Minutes. I, 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 20 minutes on Christmas? That's amazing. I can stretch that into three full days. Okay. Well, I, w- I would like to uh, take this moment now to uh, look, I've addressed our, our, the concerns of our guests. We've heard from our sponsor. Thank you very much, Dale Lawrence. I, I want to uh, take this moment now to, to uh, connect with the audience. If there's anyone here 
This is a safe space, and if you feel like the, something hasn't been addressed, if there's a question in your heart that you would like to ask of any of our guests, of, of Scrim Scram the Christmas Elf, of Santa Claus Jr., of Dale Lawrence, of Dale's Hog, or of myself, Dr. Fix Me, if you have any questions in your, uh, in your heart, please raise your hand, and, and I'll call on you. Just state your name and any questions that you have burning inside. This is a safe space to ask a question. Also safe space to not ask any questions. We got one. I had a feeling that in the front row, the Wolf of Wrigleyville would have a question. Go ahead. Elf. Yes, Scrim Scram. That's what I call. That's what I call her too. Elf. Sorry. I pointed to say I didn't elf. know I was being disrespectful. Good. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Dell's Hog, and why would you make the change from S S S uh, C J? SCJ. My bad. To, to over to uh, Dell's Hog. What, what do you see there? What's the opportunity? Well, first of all, it seems like there would be less bears. Uh, <laughs> I think it would be less bears. It seems oh my warmer. God. Are Six. bears a problem? Oh, my bears God. You have seven bears problem. living in the property. And apparently, it's a hostile work environment. It is. A, it's a very hostile work environment. I, I am I afraid every day for blind, my life. So, I don't know what the problem is. Uh, well, you can still smell. Well, he does wildly swing the <laughs> blind one. Oh yeah. my goodness! And they let them loose in the workshop again. I, would you build? Would you build a, a workshop that I could w work in as a small person? Would you build small things um, for me? Could like, you accommodate to to Scrim Scrim's height? Oh, yeah. I, like we're used to. I mean, the the turkeys are this tall. So we already have oh. a, a shed pre-made for it her. It seems. It seems like I could ride a turkey. You know what I mean? Like oh, that'd yes. be fun. If that'd you could steer the turkeys for our commercial, that would be amazing. I could do that. I could be a star. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, it, 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 one more question. All right. One more question, and then we'll. One we'll, for each of them. Well, you get one. Sorry, just one. We only have time for one. Are you worried about any lawsuits? I never get worried about things. No. Yeah, I, I I'll had to tell you why. Uh, uh, my uncle Count uh, Chocula is a judge. <laughs> Your uncle Count Chocula is yeah. a, is a He's judge? A judge. He's a federal I judge. Know, I didn't know that it was his employment. I thought he was simply a purveyor of, of cereal. No, no, no. That, that's a hobby. Oh, really? That's like a side hustle? Wow. Well, no, when you have a lot of money, it's not a side hustle. So is he like the Honorable Count Chocula? <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, Santa Claus Jr., that you are uh, both impressive and intimidating and, and Thank you. evil, dare I say. That's so sweet uh, of you to say. Uh, wow. Well, I, you know what? I, 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 I want to thank our, our, my guests for being here. Wait, we have a question in the back? Yeah, please state your name and go ahead and ask. Rodney. Rodney? <laughs> Hi, Rodney. Go is ahead that the ask. question? Roddy. Roddy? Roddy. All right, Roddy. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> what do I want for Christmas? Oh, no one's ever and asked no, me what I want for Christmas. Christmas. Well, uh, it's pronounced Christmas. <laughs> Have we been mispronouncing it too much? Have well, I they're drunk all the time on hog. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, well, no one's ever asked me what I want for Christmas, but you know what I would like? Um, I, I really would like, I'd like the comfort of my friends with me on Christmas Day. That's what I would like. And uh, Roddy says that that sounded lame. Thank you very much, Roddy. Uh, well, you know what? We got it. We ha unfortunately we are running out of time. I do want to thank our sponsor for uh, without whom this episode wouldn't be possible. Thank you, Dale Lawrence of Dale with Dale's Hog. Dale, do you have any uh, last words or a slogan you'd like to leave with the audience as we wrap this up? You'd really not remember it. <laughs> no, I don't okay. remember. Ride the hog. Ride, Ride the, the hog. hog. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, and, and and it's uh, Santa Claus Jr. I, uh, I I regret your presence on this stage. D Dale's I, Dale's hog is the name of my penis in college. Oh boy. Okay. Only, hey, wait, Dale oh, was a good friend. Wait, only in college? Yeah, wait. in high school, I didn't name it. Uh, well, hold on a second. I, I I'm now I'm curious. Why was it named someone else's hog? Because he was a good friend. We went through a personal struggle together in college. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, you had to be there, kind of situation. Now, scrim scram. You've gone through a lot here. I gotta know. Where, are, are you? Uh, do you think that you will uh, escape the clutches of <laughs> Santa Claus Jr. and and run off with uh, Dale? Uh, Dale Lawrence? Well, maybe. But here's the thing, folks. If it snows on Christmas, think of me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you very much, and, and, and hopefully, if you take, if you are able to to escape the clutches of Santa Claus Jr. and uh, run off uh, to Dale, uh, Dale Lawrence's uh, hoggery to work on uh, Dale's hog, I gotta say, uh, Scrim Scram, you have been fixed. That's our show. Give it up for Steve, Steve Gast, producer, Joe Gianni as Santa Claus Jr. and Georgia Gove as Scrim Scram. My name is Michael Kim Lewis. You can find Dr. Fix Me as a podcast. Wherever you get your podcast, follow Dr. Fix Me on Instagram and Facebook. Have a good night. This has been Dr. Fix Me. 
Today's episode is performed by Georgia Go, Joe Gianni, and Steve Gast. Dr. Fix Me theme song written and performed by Allison Miller. Enjoy the show? Let us know at drfixmeshow at gmail.com. You can follow Dr. Fix Me on Instagram at Dr. Fix Me and on Facebook at Dr. Fix Me Show. Watch live episodes of Dr. Fix Me on YouTube. Rate and review Dr. Fix Me on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your audio entertainment. Editing, production, direction, and Dr. Fix Me performed by yours truly, Michael Kim Lewis. Thank you for listening. What kind of sizes well, do you offer? Well, it's a keg, but it comes with a handle. A keg of yeah, hard so you eggnog? Just, you just lift it up like that. But how does it come out if it's physically hard? Well, you got to work at it.